What's up woodworkers? This video is how to make this cable saw jig for cutting log tendons, commonly found on rustic railings and log furniture. So this project is because my log railing broke from some snow falling off the roof. I had no idea how to make these log tendons and Google led me to these drill powered tendon cutters. They work like a big pencil sharpener, so I bought two for about $200 and I did a test cut. I realized they're incredibly fast to cut tendons, but the cut is pretty rough and it's only as straight as you can hold the drill. But the problem is for me, they didn't work really well. They didn't match the tenon or mortar size on my railing and the style looks slightly different. I noticed the curve looked a lot like a 10 inch saw blade. So I decided to make my own tenon jig to cut them on the table saw. I went to the hardware store and bought two 5 16 of an inch bolts, the full threaded ones, five inches long, two washers and two 5 16 of an inch T-nuts all for about $5 or less. I milled some pine wood to be roughly a two by six size, which is really an inch and a half by five and a half inches. If you don't have a two by six laying around, this project might cost you another 10 to $15 or so, but it's pretty cheap. I cut them down to four pieces. The two long ones need to be at least five inches longer than the log you want to cut the tenons on. The short pieces need to be a few inches larger than the largest diameter of the logs you want to cut. I found the center of my short end pieces, drilled a 5 16 of an inch hole in them. It needs to be really straight, so I use my drill press. The vertical location of the hole has to be higher than half the diameter of your log, so that way your log will be suspended above. I put the T-nut in a hole on one side and screwed the bolt end from the other end. I drilled a pilot hole in the end piece and screwed it into the longer pieces using some generic two and a half inch wood screws. I then screwed the other side on. It should be long enough to allow the log fit in the middle and then be about half inch more spacing so you can have some side to side gap to get in and out. To cut shorter logs, I can just move this end piece to a different location. So now the jig is ready to use. I drilled a 5 16 of an inch hole in the center of the log, making sure to keep the drill aligned with the axis of the log. The hole is about two inches deep or maybe two and a half inches. I used 5 16 of an inch because I could then use a 3 8 of an inch lag bolt and assemble the wood to the railing and hold it together. The log is put in the jig and the bolts are tightened. The log should freely spin in the middle. I set the height of the table saw to be a little bit lower than the tenon size I want. This allows me to sneak up on the final size. I set the fence to have the middle of the blade be dead center underneath the bolt. The back side of the jig has to be supported by something, and in my case I use an outfeed roller. To use the jig, I can slowly move the entire jig along the table saw along the fence, rotate the log by hand as I move it forward to perform the cut, if the tenon is a little bit too big to fit into my hole in the mortise that I cut, then I can just raise the table saw blade a little bit and cut it again until it fits. I cut the mortises with a Forstner bit. I can get the same length tenon on each log by marking the end location of the jig on the table saw with some blue tape. The result, perfectly clean cut tenons with a nice pleasing curve. 